Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. Today we are watching Hacksaw Ridge because I feel like I've never reacted to a war film on my YouTube channel. If I'm completely honest, I don't often watch them in real life because I feel like I have to be in a certain mood to watch a war film. But today I was weirdly feeling it. And this one also has Andrew Garfield. I was just sort of scrolling online looking for inspiration about what film to watch. And I had a couple options and I thought this one would be the best to react to today. So here we are. I have no idea what it's about. I just know it has Andrew Garfield <laughs> and it's a war film. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Let's start watching guys. Oh no. Okay, it's based on a true story. I don't know, that just always makes me so much more emotional. Well, the film's starting off very intense already. Oh my God. The effects are really good though. <laughs> I'll say that. He gives Whoa. To the weird Blue Ridge Mountains, Virginia. 16 years earlier. Okay, so that's him as a little boy then. Where is she to be taught? <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> Oh no. Are these two gonna go to war together and like one of them gonna die or something heartbreaking like that? I feel like it's going to be something very, very sad. Sing to her, you don't quit it. You quit it. I thought it was gonna push him off the edge. Go break your <laughs> oh god. <laughs> They're making me nervous. <laughs> Putting in the sidewalk. I feel like I recognize him, but I don't know what films he's been in before. So I'm guessing boys never existed. that said dad and he's been at war too and maybe <gasps> feeling survivor's guilt. Oh God, that looks bad. Oh no, he looks angry. Oh my God, do you know want to break it up? This doesn't look like a nice play fight. This looks like... Stop it. Keeping them both this way, I just whip the one that wins. <laughs> oh <my God>. Oof. <gasps> Not the brick. <laughs> Oh my god. What is this, The Last of Us? Oh my god. Oh my god. He's killed his brother. Oh my god. He got him real good in the face. Hopefully he's just knocked out and there's no lasting damage. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, is that Abel and Kane in that photo? gonna teach the boy literally he's violent enough huh? he already knows he's done wrong hell's gonna be okay is he and to take another man's life that is the most egregious sin in the world side and now 16 years after this he's at war oh he don't hate us probably hates himself that's why he takes it out on them hates himself mm-hmm sometimes 15 years later so a year before he's at war then How'd we sound, Desmond? Like a heavenly host angel, Mom. What a great liar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. That's nasty. I'm really not a fan of gore. <laughs> Oh, is this where he falls in love with a nurse? Like in the notebook. Okay, no need to be creepy <laughs> and just stand there and stare. Maybe say something. No, I know that ma'am is out there. It's right out there with the boy still. <laughs> yeah, the boy I saved? Over there. My belt. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't even mind like getting injections and stuff that much. But just like watching it like, ugh. But my friends call me Desmond. No man, my first time. I love how he's giving blood just to talk to her more. Nurse over at the hospital, her name's Dorothy Shooty. I'm gonna marry her. Goodness, did she Aww. know that? Not yet. <laughs> Same one that's not family. <laughs> Spoke to her. Okay. I'm here. Keep your greasy paws off of me. <laughs> Well, at least his brother seems completely fine after the accident, <laughs> getting hit in the face with a brick. <laughs> oh, he seems like 
such a gentle soul. Well, grown into one. Obviously, again, not including the brick incident. <laughs> but he seems really sweet. You ever given blood before? Yes, ma'am, I he's, have. He's back again to give blood. Don't you have to wait a certain amount of time? Yes, ma'am, we can't take your blood two days in a row. That's well, good. I came to get mine back. Ever since you stuck me with that needle, my heart's been beating real fast. Every time I think about you, it beats faster still. Ooh, smooth. It is. <laughs> it's very corny. Oh God, you're gonna go for it straight away. I think you need to practice your boy-girl dating talk at home before you come out. <laughs> On dating? <laughs> <laughs> On blood. He's funny. Maybe this book will help him, like when he eventually has to go to war to like save people's lives or something. I think you're the prettiest thing. <laughs> you need to watch where you're going. He's he's doing pretty well for his first date. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe I take that back. I thought you might have liked it. Well, I might have if you'd asked. <laughs> He needs to really look where he's going when crossing the road. Oh, he's enlisted. His dad does not look happy. In his uniform when we went to France. Oh God, where is he going? What? I'm just saying how snappy Artie looked in his uniform. Did this person also die? Wrecked his uniform entirely. <laughs> oh, I do feel bad for his dad. He maybe how awful his uniform he obviously has looked. some anger to work through he's clearly got ptsd or something from the previous war and it must be hard knowing that your son's going to go into what he went through in the past and you can't really do anything to stop it oh that's pretty oh he's taking her to where he climbed with his brother as a little kid but that is still my condition. <gasps> she really reminds you of Scarlett Johansson for some reason, like looks wise. Oh man, it's gonna be so sad when he has to leave. Oh, look at him studying. That's definitely gonna come up again when he's at war. With all my heart and then some, you marry me? Then yes, yes I will. This is moving very quickly right now. <laughs> well, they've been dating like a couple months. Oh no, and that's what tell his dad as well. These three were my best friends. Oh. Got into trouble with 18 him, years over. old, man. So young. Oh, oh man. Oh, and from that clip at the beginning, we saw he was like shot in the leg or something. And I don't remember seeing his brother there either, so. really sad i can't imagine the pain it must feel to like say goodbye to a significant other as they go to war man that would be awful oh that's sweet it's just a oh. whoa hot cheek no one understands a word he says that's because no one else here can read the <laughs> testicles there but like they belong to a smaller guy <laughs> that's Tex Lewis where's over his there? brother think she's some kind of cowboy is there any news about him though Right here is uh, Lucky Ford. Hey, that's Walker. And I Penny. think he was the guy who was like, "You're gonna be all right." In the beginning. Move it! Let's go! Move it! Move it! What freaking knife in his foot? Oh, it's freaking the guy from Dodgeball. <laughs> you are a very strange-looking individual, if you don't mind me saying so. Walker, Sergeant. Who oh, it is? Yes, Sergeant. You're just standing there, getting picked off where he looks. Uh oh. Can't place it. Maybe it's the knife in his foot. Is it foot. your hair? <laughs> Spitty Riker. No. Your name is Private Idiot. <laughs> you know why? Who placed the knife there, Private? Oh. It was an accident, so I was playing stretch. I'm heartened. Who threw the knife? Don't snitch. I did, Sergeant. Mm. Private Krasinski. <laughs> Maybe. What is your animal spirit? Don't smile at this. Then I shall henceforth call you Chief as a sign of great respect to your people. Thank you, Sergeant! Who he is? Are you grinning at Wetting. me, boy, or oh. is that your natural state? Oh, oh no. Name private. I have seen stocks of corn with better physiques. 
Makes me want to poke. Sergeant! It should be easy for you then. <laughs> or you keep this man away from strong winds. Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> See, that one was funny. Everyone outside, now! Even the naked guy? Move it! Now move your privates, private parts. Move it! <laughs> He's still you naked. Get your sorry ass <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. At this point, just accept your fate. Have you ever looked into a goat's eyes? No, sir. Good, that would be unnatural. <laughs> goat's eyes are scary, though. What do we got here, Doss? One for each titty. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What is so funny, Corporal? He needs to take it all seriously. Otherwise, oh, he's going to get in trouble. <laughs> Oh my god! He's still naked! Someone get this man some clothes! He's doing pretty well considering. Oh! I think he would definitely do this stuff before, apart from like maybe hikes in the woods. Oh, he's a fast runner though! Fly and kick him in the face! <laughs> Damn, even the other guys sort of cheated, he still won. Place the weapon by your side. Oh, you gotta grab one. Oh, so you're gonna make a stand now? Be like, I wanna be a medic. I don't wanna kill anyone. I was, I was told I don't have to carry a weapon. I mean, you probably learned to use one anyways. I can't touch a gun. You're a conscientious objector, and you join the army. Well, no, sir. I'm, I'm a conscientious cooperator. Do you have any other requirements of the United States Army? Is there anything else that we can do to ensure Oh, that man. You... What are they going to do to him? Saturday is my Sabbath, so I'm not allowed to work then. I don't think that poses a problem, do you, Sergeant? <laughs> we should simply ask. They're messing with him. Now we got that clear. His dad did warn him. They're not going to care about his plans. If you can't do it here, I can't trust you to do it in battle. Reality check. <laughs> So I plead with you, do not look to him to save you on the battlefield. Oh, the other guy's loving it. The one who we beat. For the short time he will be with us. Am I clear? Yes, yes Sergeant! Sergeant! I mean, what do they expect, really? It's how come you don't fight? Or you think you're better than us? You think you're better than me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Say like that. That was a cheap shot. The Bible says to turn the other cheek. Yeah, I, see, mean, I don't said, think this is a question of religion. No murder, fellas. right? Doesn't mean he can't I think this is punch someone. But I think, again, like he is traumatized from almost killing his brother when he was younger. Hit me, Doss. Go on. Let him have it. Go ahead. No? If I was him, I'd just sit down. Like, what's he going to do? Just don't give a reaction. That's what he wants. Now, this would be the kind of broad <laughs> that deserves a real man. Please. Oh no. I'm gonna fight over the photo. Please. Do you hear voices, Devin? I mean, good good for him to not rising to the bait. Judge's views are certainly unique, but they do not constitute grounds for Section 8 discharge. Oof, so we can't be discharged? Oh wait! Is that the guy from Avatar? I think it is. I was trying to remember. But it's Jake Sully. I think. <laughs> I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure though. Can they not just train to be a medic? You've got to try and get him to quit then. Give him the fucking toilet cleaning tube. Don't show me inside it, please, because I could not stomach that right now. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! He's like, uh oh. It begins. Oh, hey, he's trying to sleep! Oh my god. Get off me! Okay, get off me! What the fuck? Why the hell are you still here? I mean, I get the trying to get him to leave or quit or whatever, but that was mean. <laughs> Bloody hell, they did a number on him. It's time you quit this. Finish getting dressed and I'll walk you down. Well, clearly he doesn't quit. The beginning was a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> Can't. Yeah, that's right. You haven't broken him yet. Well, what the hell are you saying, Doss? You bruised half your body sleeping. 
I, I sleep pretty hard. He's, he's not a snitch. I don't want anyone coming back pissing cream. <laughs> wait, you don't want nothing for your coffee, sir? So? Oh, wait, are they not going to let him go? Oh, okay, it's fine. Oh. This is some terrible timing. I can't authorize your pass. This is a furlough for men who have passed the basic training. So, res respectfully, sir, I have. Not the gun training. Just get trained on the rifle, man! Doesn't mean to shoot someone with it. Oh, he has to do it so we can go get married. You don't have to kill anyone with it. Just shoot the gun at the target or something. I won't touch a rifle, sir. Oh I'm not God. asking you, brother! In a military prison. Oof. Okay, well, please just, just shoot the I rifle. Can, oh my God, just do it! Oh no, is he not going to turn up? Oh, this is so awkward. I feel so bad for her. She looks stunning. Sometimes men just get cold feet. He hasn't got cold feet. He's just being annoying. <laughs> really? Oh my God. I can't defend him at this point. Because it doesn't say like you can't hold and shoot a gun. It just says not to kill anyone or not murder anyone. Well, that's not going to help anyone. That's going to hurt your hands. It must be so frustrating for if them. I can't convince you. Maybe she can. <gasps> His wife. They asked me Quitting. Thing. Or just completing your training. There are two other ways. Thought I can't do that. Yes, you can. It's just pride. Ah. And stubbornness. Don't confuse your will with the Lord's. <sighs> See some sense. God damn it. It's so frustrating. But I don't know how I'm going to live with myself if I don't stay true to what I believe. My God, just, just compromise. That's how you could live with me. Just compromise. She's telling you to pick up the rifle. I'd never be the man that I want to be she's, in your eyes. She's being logical. She don't care. Just <laughs> oh, he's holding a gun. Okay, so he has some gun PTSD. This makes more sense now. But I don't think he injured anyone. Is his dad somehow gonna save his butt? Under some sort of plea bargain. Oh God! Here we yes, go. Yes, sir. I changed my mind. Just like that. You... Well, on your head then, Private. It just feels like such a waste of time and resources, and ugh. There is only one question yes, that any to enter. court need to ask of the accused. Well, do you, Private? His dad needs to enter the room now, so he doesn't answer this question. <laughs> Facts of the charge seem incontestable, so. Wait. What the hell? Thank you, Corporal Oops, Look at the evidence. Come on. <laughs> it's so frustrating, this film so far. Although I have no idea what you could be presenting to him. Signed Brigadier General Musgrove, War Services Commander Washington. The Damn, Dad pulled some strings. <laughs> I withdraw the charges, sir. Oh, that, was, that was quick. Well. I begin training as a combat medic. His stubbornness paid off, I guess. Oh, and they got married too. There's been no mention of his brother yet. I wonder if he's gonna come back into it. Um, reality hitting home, I think. So many dead or injured. Just give me goosebumps. You does? Why? I said, what's it like? Probably don't wanna know. That's not gonna be good. Red cross markings. Nips put a premium on shooting medics. Oh god, yeah. It makes like him stand out a lot, even though it'll be easier for his own team to find him. It's a... Uh, One size fits all. Yes. Like a beacon of being like, I'm a medic here, by the way. I did wonder why the other people weren't wearing badges, but it makes complete sense. We get Okinawa! Yeah, we'll climb all the way up there. Japan. Jesus Christ. Man, wars are so awful. This is why I don't really watch war films because, for the, like, I just find them really depressing most of the time, even if they are really well-made films. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh my God, that oh, can't even imagine how they'd be feeling going into this. Like how scared you would feel, like especially being like some of the first in that queue. And, oh, there's blood. Even my heart's just like racing watching this. 
Learn MP4. I know that from uh, Call of Duty, World at War. <laughs> I used to love that gun and zombies. <laughs> I feel like he should be at the back. Like, I don't know. He's a medic. Oh, God. That's someone's foot. I don't, I don't handle gore well. That's why I never watch like any of the Saw films or anything. Because it's, it's just makes me feel so ill. <laughs> Oh my god, having to walk through that, I would be vomiting everywhere. Uh, oh my god, it's vile, I can't. Oh, the rats, oh. I love rats, I have two pet rats, but it's, I think this is the maggots. Oh my god. No. Oh my god, this is the carnage. You can't even retreat easily. You have to go like, back down the uh, the net. I can't see nothing. A lot of this probably would be freaking censored on YouTube. It's so graphic. Oh my god, you want to use its shield. Oh my god. This is insane. And that's based on a true story as well. I mean, this is just like the reality of war, isn't it? I think that one's dead. Oh my god. They're just they're all fucking falling. They're so outnumbered. Oh my god, this guy's just going off on one. I don't know if shooting his own person. Oh, he saved him! He saved your life. I think he's just in shock. Oh my god. Oh, this is oh, this is so intense. This is stressing me out. Like, there's, there's no way you can save that. You could tie both legs, but he's just going to be freaking prolonging the pain at this point. Might be a kindness just to, you know? This is really sad. How are you going to get him home? Who are the people with the stretches? Is it other medics? Like... There's only three of them. Oh, Hollywood struggling. Oh, well, there's a grenade, so that might be an issue. Oh, he's carrying him. Okay, it's people at the back are helping. Oh, there's someone out there. He's gonna go for it. Oh my God. He's gonna cover him. Oh, it's clearing, it's clearing, hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. He may be a dick, but he's very good at covering other people. Okay. As okay as anyone can be doing in this situation, he's managed to at least try and save quite a few people. Oh shit. That's one of the bunkers down. I'm even commentating. I'm like so engrossed in this. Like, I haven't seen that many war films, but I feel like the ones I have seen haven't been like as insane as this. Oh man. <gasps> oh god, is he dead? He's going for it. Oh, cool. Oh my god, oh my god, he's almost there. Have they not seen him? What is that? Is it a grenade? Boop. Or a bomb. Oh my god, they're going hand to hand combat now. Woo! Oh my god. Oh no, but a grenade. Oh shit. Is he alive? Oh, he is alive. Come on, let's get him out of there. Be smart. Keep your ears down. All right, let's find a spot. Um, still going out for more. And the other guy is like, I don't know. He just protects him all the time now. They have this camaraderie. Hey. You're not supposed to like fire, are you? Give me that. Show them where you are. Well, I guess it's like a tiny flame. You know that guy who got his legs blown off survives? I feel like in these films, so many of them like have the helmet on, but not done up. Why is that? Yes, I do. <laughs> Don't tell her that. <laughs> She'd be much happier with a man like me anyway. Yeah, until she got to know you. <laughs> oh no, what's that noise? The rat. 
Oh, the rats are eating the dead. I guess they're just trying to survive too. What's that mean? Where's the other guy gone? Oh my god! This is this just a bad dream? Okay, this is a bad dream. That terrified me though. My heart. Yeah, well. Man. After what we just been through, I knew her. But she gave me to an orphanage when I was five. Never saw her again. Oh, well, that explains why he is the way he is. But you didn't kill him. Nope. In my heart, I did. <laughs> Does it explain why you're so terrified to hold a gun because of the potential of what could have happened here? He could have killed his dad, even though his dad was obviously being a terrible human being. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many! It's crazy how my brain has retained so many gun names just from playing World at War. <laughs> I'm like, oh, is that a car? 98? <laughs> Although that might be wrong as well. I don't know. I'm just be making up at this point. But that's just what came to mind as soon as I saw it. Oh my god. I'm getting pushed back. Coming from underground? Oh no, communication's gone. Oh no, he's gone. Jeez. Oh. Oh no. Where's Desmond? <gasps> oh. That's not a medic, isn't it? Oh! The plasma! Oh no. No, there's like barely any of his team left. Oh my god. They got pushed back so quick. Oh no, is he gonna die? Oh, don't be scared. Oh no, he's, he's no. Oh, look at him, he's carrying him. Looks like he got shot pretty bad though. I mean, like, this is like tough to watch. He doesn't want to leave him. Man, that's an insane shot. You want to go back in there? Surely not. Oh my god. He was like, where the hell is he? He was just up there. 32 only came down, sir. Good lord. That has a tiny number. Yes, sir. And if he does manage to save more people up there, like how's he gonna get them back down that net? Is he gonna save that? Um, I don't even know his name. The guy from Dodgeball. There he is. We, we gotta fix you up. Is that him? Was that his brother? It probably wasn't. He's trying. Can't believe he's still out there. This is based on a true story. Like one person stayed behind trying to save people. What are you gonna do to get him back down? Just carry him? By himself? Look at all the way back up. There's gotta be an easier way. Or maybe tie the knot and like lower him down. Oh, he's doing the knot. Oh, the bra knot. Oof. Look! Look up! Look up! Look up! Look! Oh my god. <laughs> Too busy fucking covering their ears and having a cigarette. He must be so exhausted. We just lost our cover. Oh no. Oh no, run! At least the artillery is giving him cover. There's no one like, who's that guy up there? Oh my god, be careful. <gasps> no! What are you gonna do? He's stuck, he's got no weapon. And even if he did have one, he wouldn't use it. At least give him like a little nose hole. Oh my god, close your eyes. Close your eyes! Close your eyes. That was so close. 
Let's go, buddy. How do you want to get him out of there? Let's go. Surely they would hear that. They barely gone anywhere. Someone needs to let them know. He's just saving them all by himself. I just have to go past them. Did he manage to save the other guy? Oh my god. This is so stressful. How's he gonna get out of this? Oh my god, run! I wonder if this is like loosely based on a true story or like a lot of it is very true because this is insane how he's surviving this. I have to do my own research after I finish this film. Don't say anything. Are you gonna save him? Oh, So kind of him to do that. Damn, he's been down there a long time. What's like a whole day's been pa passed? I thought for sure you were going to find that Vince Vaughn guy. Oh no. I can't see. Oh. Be quiet. Just be I got you. Hold tight. Oh no, but they're going to come investigate. Another one. How are these people who are collecting these soldiers, like, not going back to the camp? Like, by the way, there's still some guy up there, like, saving other people. Because ideally, two people would be at the top, tying them up so he could just like keep going back and forth without having to tie them up and letting them down himself. That'd be way more efficient. Also, like I said, how is he not like so exhausted? He's falling asleep. At least at night time is a lot easier. Surely it's got to be his, uh, that other guy. The Vince Vaughn guy, surely. Because he put a body on him and like hid underneath it. Oh my God, his hands. He must have saved so many at this point. Coming through. Is no one questioning this yet? Where the hell are these guys coming from? There we go. Oh, Finally. Nice I thought they pulled out. I'm back with you directly. Easy, easy. And the fact that he's saving everyone as well. It's crazy. At least we've got more people at the bottom now. Yeah, you think they send more people up? He's still there, says Hollywood. I knew you'd find him at some point. Why did this part make me emotional? <laughs> like his disbelief. Oof. Our guys have been coming down in droves all night. Have they not told him this sooner? He's right here. <laughs> oh, he survived. The guy you didn't believe in. Oh, I hope he gets out of it as well. Oh, no. Okay, he's there. Oh my god, I hit his helmet. You're okay, you're okay. Put your helmet back on! Oh, the sniper. Be careful! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, okay. Holding a gun. He's a big guy! Oh man, you're gonna have to be quick about this. How has he still got any energy? Like, no food or water? He's just running on pure adrenaline at this point. This is just insane, this part. <laughs> Vince Vaughn must weigh so much because I think he's like really tall as well. Look at him, they're flying. This must be where he gets shot. Like, I still wish I hadn't seen the beginning where he got shot. Because I know it's coming now. See, look, they're not, you didn't believe in. Oh my God. Bye. Oh my God, his poor hand. He's flying. He could have probably used his hand to like, oh my God, oh my God, be careful. I mean, he, he could have been dead. So, you know what? We're hard landing. You have to take it. He needs to get down himself, though. Look, there's people there. Oh my god, there's so many people! I've got to help him! It's not their damn time! He saved so many people! <laughs> His hands are fucked. But he's okay. And at what point does he get shot? I'm so confused. Maybe that was just to throw me off the trail. Or is it another time? Whoa. That's a lot of blood. Look at all these people you saved. Wait, which one was Irv? You can forgive me. Oh. You proved them all wrong. Oh man, is that where he gets shot when he goes up again? Small group of what people. The delay, Captain, is for you. Who the hell is Private Doss? He's the one who saved all those people. What do you mean? It was poor hands. He's giving them all hope again. 
I, I don't know how this assault was going to end any better, though. They're still so severely outnumbered. A lot of them are injured. Oh, white flag. They surrendered. I was not expecting that. Oh, it was fake. A fake surrender. Damn. Woo! Again, he saved so many people. Ah, oh, and that's how he gets injured. Oh, it wasn't just a bullet wound. What's he saying? His Bible. Damn, he's actually running back to get the Bible. What's happening? Are they actually surrendering? Stabbing himself? Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting that either. We've taken an axe off. It's all thanks to him. I'm glad he didn't die. I was so worried he was going to die. Don't tell me he dies now. He carried 75 wounded men to safety on Hexor Ridge. He was the first conscientious objector to receive the Medal of Honor, America's highest award for courage under fire. He saved so many people. They were married until her death in 1991. Of his own heroics, he remained characteristically modest, giving all the credit oh, to his God. Please help me get one more. He says simply, the real heroes are buried over there. Even though I said those things to him in regard to carrying a rifle, then, then he would never be my by my damn side. He was one of the bravest persons alive. Life was the irony of the whole thing. He was laying there just groaning, called for medic. Was washed from his eyes, eyes came up. Man, he just lit up. He passed away at the age of 87 in March 2006. That was a, a crazy film. I find war films incredibly hard to watch because they're just so intense and a lot of the times depressing and gruesome. And obviously, it's the reality of war, like seeing obviously this is a dramatized version or you know in film but i don't know it just it really hits home and what people go through during war and it's yeah it's just that film was incredible to watch like it's how long like two hours ten minutes it went by in no time like there's a lot of the time during the reaction which will probably be cut out because it'd be boring to watch well i'm just watching in silence because i was just so engrossed in the film the acting was incredible like andrew garfield in that role was amazing and i hope he won awards for that because it was he just did an incredible job and that film just made me feel all the emotions like i felt like the same as other people like watching desmond not want to pick up a gun like come on just do it and then you can be the medic out on the field like you don't have to shoot anyone but he stuck to his values and he ended up saving 75 people which is incredible and i'm so happy he got to live like a long happy life and he proved everyone wrong you know they all judged him based on his values and how he looked and he ended up saving so many people and it's, it's just incredible that this is like a true story um so yeah incredible incredible film i could understand why people rate it so highly and go on about it so much and it definitely makes me more open to watching more war films um because i did really enjoy it even though like i said it's really hard for me to watch um and i like how they said at the end like they had all these like little interviews with some of the people and i didn't have to go do my own research to like look up how true it was like how many people he saved like i'm glad they updated us on you know what happens in the future for them um but yeah incredible incredible film definitely what i'll be thinking about for a while and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please remember to smash the like button and if you haven't already hit subscribe um let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this film are there any other recommendations of like war films that you guys want me to react to? There's so many I haven't seen. I know some classics. I haven't seen like Saving Private Ryan, which a lot of people have asked me to react to. But I've always just put it off. But maybe now I've seen this, I should get to reacting to it. I don't know. But yeah, overall, incredible, incredible film. Made for all the emotions. Was just very well made. Very well done. Um, 
great acting great effects just a great cast overall and definitely i don't know it just gets across the message you know stick stick to who you are um and it just also like it doesn't romanticize war um like i feel like some shows or films could do like it shows the gore of it and how tough it is and like ptsd that his dad has and everything it, it just it's a very well done film and i'm, I'm rambling i'm rambling <laughs> i apologize but yeah thank you for watching guys and i will see you in the next one bye